House lawmakers held a hearing earlier today to discuss China's ever-imposing threat to the U.S. Yeah, Fox's Brian Lennis has the latest <clears throat> from South Carolina where workers are searching the ocean floor for the debris from a Chinese spy balloon shot down over the weekend. We have to stop being naive about the threat we face from China. House lawmakers and former military officials sounding the alarm over the growing national security threat the U.S. faces from China. The House Armed Services and Financial Committees both holding hearings today following China's infiltration of U.S. airspace last week with a surveillance balloon. When the Biden administration allowed a CCP spy balloon to traverse some of our nation's most sensitive military sites, would make no mistake, that balloon was intentionally launched as a calculated show of force. But President Biden saying this incident does not weaken U.S. relations with China. We've made it clear to China what we're going to do. They understand our position. We're not going to back off. We did the right thing. And there's not a bad question of weakening their schedule. It's just reality. Meanwhile, Navy crews continue their work off the coast of South Carolina to recover any remaining debris from the downed airship. The airship was the size of a regional jetliner, weighing a couple thousand pounds and leaving a debris field 15 football fields wide. In addition to information gathered by U-2 spy planes that flew alongside the airship as it crossed the country, this debris will be essential to further understand China's capabilities. The PRC uh, is a learning machine. Xi Jinping, if nothing else, uh, is watching and learning. We need to understand more fully the PRC, the, the Chinese surveillance capabilities and systems. The debris is being sent to the FBI lab in Quantico, Virginia, for further analysis. In Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, Brian Yetis, Fox 26 News.